Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about Renal Transplant Ultrasound. These are images showing a normal kidney transplant. This is the longitudinal view. This is the outer cortex and we can see the hyperechoic renal sinus fat. And over here is a power Doppler image showing blood flow in the renal artery. And we can see the anastomosis with the external iliac artery. This is showing the normal blood flow in this renal transplant. Now we will compare the normal images with pathologies. The first case is hydronephrosis in which we will find dilated renal pelvis and calluses depending on the extent of hydronephrosis. The appearance of hydronephrosis in a transplant kidney is similar to that of a native kidney. A lymphocele is the most common type of fluid collection seen after a renal transplant. It may occur a couple of weeks after the operation. A lymphocele usually appears as an anechoic fluid collection adjacent to the renal transplant and it is usually found near the renal hilum. Small lymphocytes can be ignored, but large lymphocytes may compress the renal vasculature, which can be concerning. Here is another example of a lymphocyte. We can see an anechoic fluid collection adjacent to the renal transplant and there will be no internal vascularity on color Doppler. Some lymphocytes may have internal septations. As we can see in this example, this fluid collection has internal septations. Peritransplant hematoma is common in the early post-operative period. Small hematomas can be ignored, but large hematomas such as in this image are concerning as they may compress renal blood vessels and other renal structures. This is an acute peritransplant hematoma. It usually appears heterogeneous. The appearance of the hematoma depends on its age. Here is another image of acute peritransplant hematoma. We can see a heterogeneous mass adjacent to the transplant. Here is a case of intraparenchymal abscess. The abscess can appear as a hypoechoic mass with internal echoes. It will not have any internal vascularity and it will also give posterior acoustic enhancement. Here is a normal renal artery and its spectral Doppler. This is in a renal transplant. The waveform has a systolic upstroke and forward diastolic flow. The peak systolic velocity should be less than 250 centimeters per second in normal cases and the resistive index should be less than 0 0.7. And over here is a case of renal artery stenosis. We will find turbulence at the site of stenosis, which will cause spectral broadening in the waveform. And the peak systolic velocity will be greater than 250 centimeters per second. This is a normal renal vein in a transplant. It will have a monophasic waveform, which will look like this. And here is a case of 
renal vein thrombosis. Usually we will not find venous flow and we will not get any spectral waveform due to absence of flow. Blood flow is obstructed due to thrombosis. Renal vein thrombosis may also affect the spectral waveform of the renal artery. We may find flow reversal throughout the diastole in the renal artery as seen in this image. This waveform is of renal artery. This flow is seen below the baseline so it indicates flow reversal. Pseudoaneurysm may occur in a transplant kidney after a biopsy and these pseudoaneurysms usually occur at the site of biopsy. It will appear as an anechoic lesion. When we apply color Doppler, this anechoic lesion will show blood flow. We will find color Doppler signals within this anechoic lesion which will confirm that it is a pseudoaneurysm. This is a spectral Doppler of pseudoaneurysm. We will find to and fro flow which is an alternating forward and reverse flow. One waveform will be seen above the baseline and the next waveform will be seen below the baseline. Here is another example of a spectral Doppler waveform of pseudoaneurysm. We are seeing the to and fro flow pattern. Segmental infarcts can occur in a renal transplant due to thrombosis of renal artery branches. The infarcts may appear as hypoechoic regions but it is best seen with Doppler. Here power Doppler is applied and we do not see any Doppler signals within the lower pole of the kidney. This indicates that there is infarction. Renal transplant rejection is a serious complication that can occur after the operation. Ultrasound features include a swollen kidney with hypoechoic enlarged renal pyramids. It is difficult to distinguish rejection from other parenchymal diseases on ultrasound. Here is another image showing transplant rejection. We can see a swollen kidney and we can also see the hypoechoic enlarged renal pyramids. Another feature is poor visualization of renal sinus fat. In this image, we do not see the hyperechoic renal sinus fat. This feature along with a swollen kidney usually indicates transplant rejection. On spectral Doppler analysis, a transplant rejection may show a sharp systolic peak and absent diastolic flow in the renal arteries. Another distinctive feature will be very high resistive index which will be much more than 0.7. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.